how to set up your Wisp block to join in the built-in network server and send a downlink to it in Wisgate OS 2. We'll show you how. Hello Rackstars, I'm Diego and in this tutorial, I will show you how to configure a Wisp block device and join it in the built-in network server. Then, we will show you how to send a downlink to it. In this example, we will set the device in class A and OTAA join mode, but you can use other classes and join mode as well. Before configuring the WISP block, make sure the device is assembled with a connected LoRa antenna and connected to your computer via a USB cable. To configure the WISP block, we will use the WISP toolbox. Click on Connect Device. The WISP toolbox should automatically recognize the device. If not, check the COM port of the WISP block in the device manager of your computer and select it. Click on Connect. Select the device. Head to Parameters. Here you can find all the parameters of the device, like network mode, region, keys and many more. Click on Global Settings. Set the network mode, join mode and active region based on your requirements. In this example, we will leave them as default. Then, click on LoRa Want Keys, ID, EUI menu. Use the key to generate an application key for the device. Head to the LoRa Network Management menu. Here, choose your class. We will leave it as default. Note that this will reflect later when sending a downlink. Finally, click on Apply Commands and to make the changes to the WISBLOCK device. Now you need to create an application on the built-in network server of your gateway. Log into the web UI of the gateway. Head to the LoRa menu. By default, the gateway works in built-in network mode. If that is not the case, you will need to switch to it. Make sure the region corresponds to the one of the WISP block, otherwise the device won't join the network server. Head to the Applications tab and click on Add New One Now to add one. Give a name for your application. Select the application type. In this case, we will select the Unified Application Key Type. In the Application Key field, copy and paste the previously generated key. Click on Save Application. Now you need to register the end device. Navigate to End Devices and click on Add Some Now. In the new End Device menu, check the activation code and class to match the parameters based on the ones that you have set for your WISP block. Give a name of your device. Rack 3172 supports the 1.0.3 LoRa 1 Mac version, therefore select it. Click on Add End Devices to continue. On the next page, copy and paste the WISBLOCK EUI in the End Device EUI field and click on Add to End Device List button. The device will pop up in the End Device List. To add it, click on Add End Devices and then Add. Now that the device is registered, you need to make it join the network server. Go back to WIS Toolbox and navigate to Advanced Menu. Click on Open Console. This will open the device console. Type the following AT command. AT plus join 1087. This will start the join procedure. If you receive joined output, this means that the device has successfully joined the network. Now let's send a downlink to the end device. In the web UI of the gateway, click on the device and head to the downlink. In the F port, Type a port number of your choice between 1 and 255. In the hex bytes field, type the payload in hex format. Click on send to send the uplink. As mentioned before, based on the chosen class, it depends when the device will receive the downlink. As our device is in class A, it will receive the downlink on the next uplink. Go to the WIST toolbox and use the following command. AT plus send equals 89 colon 1234 to send an uplink. This command will send payload 1234 to port 89. You will see the downlink in the console as RX. We hope that you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you want more of this, comment down below and tell us what tutorials you want to see and stay tuned.